Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. Today's video, I'll be doing a review of Hulk number four. This book is written by Danny Cates, uh, with art by Ryan Audley, inks by Cliff Rathburn, Frank Martin on colors, and Corey Petit on letters. Uh, so this is part four of the Smashronaut story. This has been an ongoing story. Uh, you can go check out our previous reviews in the channel. So for part four, as the mystery behind the Hulk's shocking news, new status quo deepens, Banner has piloted the Starship Hulk to an alternate Earth, uh, one where Thunderbolt Ross is president, has an army of gamma-powered monsters under his command, and get ready for a surprise-filled all-out brawl. And boy, the surprises just really, really keep coming. Uh, let's take a look at some more, and I'll talk through the story. Um, so, yeah, as, as you can see here, we are located on... Earth 122. Uh, Thunderbolt Ross here is uh, the president of the United States, and this is a completely different universe. So, last we saw um, Main 616, Main 616 banner piloting the Hulk. Uh, he ran into a different banner, so now we know that it's the banner from this world. Uh, in this world, things went a little bit different, and that's kind of what the the issue uh, spends a little bit of uh, exploring. I do love here, I, I love uh, the way Thunderbolt Ross just looks kind of like a maniac when you kind of, and then put that up against Tony Stark, who looks disheveled and just kind of lost. Uh, once again, Ryan Oddly brings the gore, brings the violence, brings all of the, like, just the out of control art that you want to see in this uh, Hulk story. Uh, they they really touch on you know why this world is so different from the world that we live in, and by that I mean the six one six. So yeah, I think uh, I think Donny Cates and uh, Ryan Ali are just having a lot of fun with this story because it's really bonkers. It's it's a complete one eighty from what we were reading on Immortal Hulk, but I'm loving it so far. This demented version of Bruce. Uh, how long can he keep up uh, the Hulk under his control in the, in the ship? Also, we know there's another um, entity, as I will call it, uh, that is knocking at the door, if you if you will. Uh, let's take a look at some more art panels. Uh, so, yeah, you know, we have the banners talking to each other and things are about to happen, get going. This issue spends a lot of the time uh with a lot of destruction and big bombastic battles, I think that's the that's a really big draw for me in, the, in this comic. Um, that they just kind of go all out for it, uh, even so that as you know, uh, the the Hulk engine is powered by his rage and his battle. Uh, so when you got to kick things up a notch, uh, it's been really fun to see what kind of things uh, Donny Cates makes the Hulk fight. Uh, we saw a giant sized Wolverine. We saw the Avengers. We saw just the general. And now we get a little bit of uh, Marvel Zombies because why not? So this is the Hulk kicking it up to a new gear on the engine. So it's beautiful. Uh, there's a really cool payoff and a really cool setup for the next issue uh, in, the little, in, in the next few pages. So if you're not reading this, geez, just go pick it up. It's so much fun. It's just bonkers comics. It's not like... It's not reinventing the wheel or anything. It's just saying, like, hey, let's have some fun. And, you know, every Wednesday I go to the comic shop, and that's part of what I'm looking for. So, yeah, let us know what you think of the Hulk. Um, and leave us a comment. Uh, go back and check out our other videos on issues one, two, and three. Uh, before we leave, I'll put out some variants so you can take a look. But thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, movie reviews, all that stuff here on the channel. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.